Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to our weekly Q&A, I guess monthly Q&A, actually very special q and I'm Anya here with Restream team in Austin, Texas and joining me is Anastasia from Restream Europe. Yep. Hello guys, uh, I'm uh, actually based in Dublin. <laughs> so we got a multinational team uh, from Restream here. Uh, where are you from? Uh, who the people who are joining our stream, tell us a little bit more where you're from, guys. Yeah, I see that chat is already kind of like picking up and uh, that would be really cool to see um, and to know where you guys are watching us from. Today we have a pretty special edition of our Q&A session because it's going to be laser focused on Restream Studio and Studio only. So, And also it's going to be laser focused on you and the questions and comments that you had about this, this specific product. So this is what we're going to be talking about today. Um, we're going to demo a little bit uh, how Studio works for those who are relatively new to to the product and also so or show you some hacks and kind of like interesting ways of how you could use the studio. In the meantime, um, you can also share with us what kind of content you stream because primarily we invited people who use studio at least once um, to this event. Um, some of you use it a lot more than once. So please let us know what kind of uh, what kind of videos do you do? Do you do Q and A's, interviews with guests and experts? Do you do demos? Yeah, let us know. We would love to to see that in in the chat. Wow, but this is pretty cool. We have such an international cloud. Uh, of, of course, people from New York, from US, Chicago, New York, uh, Canada, India, uh, also Malaysia, England. Oh my God, this is so amazing. Felici even. Woohoo! Yeah, uh, that's, Georgia. <laughs> that is <laughs> so awesome. awesome. Wow. And Romania. Woohoo! So many, yeah, that's that's beautiful. Good evening, Dublin and Texas. That's good. I am in on the south coast of the UK. That's great. I'm sure it's really beautiful out there. Puerto Rico, another wonderful one. Hello and welcome everybody. And here people are starting to share what kind of content they're doing. I can see interview, I can see um art demo. Podcast. That is cool. Podcasts, talk shows, music shows, Game live. Show. That is pretty expert interview, non-for-profit virtual events. That is powerful. Live guests and demos, broadcast radio show, weekly sports talks. So this is really interesting. I mean, this is great because it shows us, um, you know, like how, how many different cases and how many different variations of studio use we can have. And it's also great to hear that most of you are already familiar with the studio. So you, you've been doing some kind of live, live content already. So that will help us to understand like how... Uh, how basic should we start with the demo or, or how deeply should we go into like specific features and in details? So yeah, that's awesome. Wow. That's a busy chat. <laughs> Morning radio <laughs> show, Ma piano masterclass. This is amazing. Wow. I never thought about that. Anastasia, can you believe it? Have I ever taken uh, music classes or lessons? No, not yet, but I always wanted to. I'll be honest with you. I feel like I'm a, a bit better dancer than player of a, any musical instrument, <laughs> uh, yeah. but uh, I always wanted to, I had to take a piano classes for sure. No, it's pretty cool. I also saw people, uh, somebody said that they're doing uh, live trainings as well, uh, for HR trainings as well, which was pretty interesting, yeah. uh, interesting to see. Low cool. firm business advice. That's awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with a very quick overview um, of what the studio can do for you. And uh, then we will start taking your questions. So please uh, feel free to type up what you would like to know. Um, about the studio, about features, about what you can do, um, any kind of experiences that you had with this in the past. And then from there, um, we have time, hopefully we do, we'll show you a couple of hacks, like basically kind of like sneaky, tricky and interesting things, how you could use the studio uh, that are not necessarily obvious um, right away. So this is, this is the plan for today. Uh, let me go ahead and share my screen real quick here. So, and of course, it's going to show us a little bit of our infinity pool for just a second. And then I will transition into my um, other other studio channel uh, where I can show you things. Um, everybody can see me, right? Anastasia, can you see the screen? All good? Yes, all good. I can see it all awesome. right. Awesome. So I am going to go ahead and enter uh, my studio. And things are a tiny bit slow for me right now because I'm actually also live at the same time. So please bear with me a little bit. Um, so this is kind of your standard interface, right? Like this is where you go when you first enter the studio. And just real quick run through uh, what those buttons and what those things are doing. Right here um, in the lower left corner, 
uh, you have this private chat option. So if you are having guests and you want to uh, communicate with them without that communication being public, without saying something out loud or posting in the chat, you have a private chat with those guests. Um, so you can be like, hey, Anastasia, I don't really hear you well. Or like, oh, hey, Anya, your lights are kind of dark. So um, that is a relatively new feature. That's why I just wanted to point, point it out for those people who haven't noticed that yet or not sure what that is. Um, you have your standard, standard mute and unmute button. You have your camera on and off. If you turn your camera off, you'll have this kind of like little um, icon here. If you happen to have a graphic behind, um, like some kind of um, uh, background by uh, turning off your camera, remember that it's still going to come to this preview mode and you actually need to toggle yourself out uh, if you want to show um, your your graphic. Oh, sorry about that. I think I, I something didn't go right here. Whoops. All right. So you also have your guest link um, where you can invite people to join your stream. Remember that this link is going to invite uh, people to your just general studio if you're not scheduling any events, which we will go through in, in just a second. So this is just for people to come in in your studio if you're just going live on the web. If you're scheduling events, there is a special link in your event settings. But you can have up to 10 people on screen, including yourself. So nine guests. Um, and remember, all of those guests can also share screens. Um, do cool stuff like that. My personal favorite uh, button uh, or feature here is uh, local video source. So we play this little commercial of Restream earlier today, right before the stream. That's, that's actually how I did that. I used a local video file um, and I was able to uh, basically select it directly from my computer and then I could toggle it in and then I can have that video playing right next to me um, and I can comment on that if I want to. I can also maximize it. Um, so you can see my image in here in the corner and you can also um, completely oversize it basically like make it make it a uh, full takeover of your screen and at any point of time you can basically stop it and untoggle it and then uh, if you want to continue playing that later by toggling it back uh, it will resume so that's a pretty cool feature for, uh, for, for me uh, it's different from the videos from the graphics section uh, because it is uh, basically like a little bit more control of, of it uh, as you as you're streaming you have your inputs and outputs here in settings. You have advanced settings where you can add the quality of your video. You can go full HD. You can also select echo cancellations, noise, and stereo audio, which is pretty cool. Um, remember when you are setting um, something like full HD, there are certain limitations on some platforms like LinkedIn and Periscope, for example, will downgrade, downgrade your video a little bit. Uh, just something to be aware of. Um, but we have a little tooltip here that, that will help you out. Uh, on your right side, we have a chat section where we are getting uh, all the chat messages when we're live. You can see them here uh, and you can also highlight them, which we will be doing in just a second with your comments and questions. Uh, you have captions where you can show um, calls to actions, links, um, invitations, and you can also then um, add them to your chat uh, as a link if you want to make it, make it clickable, and here it will be visual. Um, in the graphics section, we have logos that you can upload, and you can also upload overlays um, where you can just basically add certain things. Like I like to use this overlay where um, that, that shows like specific names of people that is custom, like customized to my to my show with my branding and my colors. Uh, we also have video pre-rolls. We've recently added quite a collection of um, templates for your countdowns and for your videos. Uh, if you have had a chance to check it out, let me know if you have a personal favorite. I have a couple here. Uh, so some of them are countdowns and others are just videos with visuals that you can use during breaks or uh, during intermissions between between parts of your stream. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, same story with backgrounds. Um, again, you kind of need to have either another person or you need to share a screen in order to be able to see the background. Uh, but you can you can select between uh, the ones that we have, or you can download your own uh, custom custom uh, backgrounds. Uh, remember that since we added a ton of graphics, you can actually remove the default ones if you have a lot of graphics that you designed for yourself. And the, the ones that we offer are kind of distracting. You can always untoggle them. Uh, that's a relatively new feature, as well as those you know, options of graphics are relatively new as well. Uh, and your last 
section here is a setup. Uh, this is something that you will only have if you're going live like on the web without scheduling it. Um, so you can uh, then update your titles, your descriptions, and select which channels you want to toggle and go live on. Uh, if you're scheduling an event, which we'll break down in just a second, uh, you, you will basically do that before scheduling in advance. But if you're just going live, uh, then this is your final kind of like checkpoint where you can have a look and see and make sure that you're going to the destinations that you actually want to be on. So that would be it for the basic studio walkthrough. Um, I think it would be great um, if Anastasia, if you want to share a little bit about um, events uh, or should we, should we just go to questions because I see our chat is... Super active, <laughs> right? Yeah, so I was uh, just answering a few chats that I, I that I saw. Um, I saw a comment from um, Brian Brian Lean uh, regarding the co-producer, and he was also actually asking if the guests can um, join from the mobile. So two things here: uh, yes, the guests can join from the mobile. We recommend joining from the uh, laptop, as of course if the better the bigger cpu machine you have and the bag, the better internet connection you have the higher chances that there's going to be no delay with your video and audio uh, so we always recommend wi-fi at least 30 megabytes at least and uh, of course if possible laptop but uh anya hosts shows every friday and uh, a few of her hosts uh, sorry guests joined through mobile and um, yeah, it works. <laughs> it definitely it did, works. Yeah. Um, and uh, maybe Anya, you can demonstrate how the co-producer feature works. Uh, this has been, the people have been asking us for a while and uh, this is something we're now developing uh, in-house, but uh, uh, at the moment there's like a work around how you can enable this feature. So maybe we can show how we can uh, uh, add the yeah. co-producer feature. Yeah, absolutely. So this is one of our hacks that we wanted to demonstrate and uh, we're going to do it right now. So the work around is the producer uh, that that you want to control overlays, graphics, chats, all that good stuff can untoggle themselves and kind of be that behind the scenes invisible person running the stream. While the other producer or the other co-host who is mainly the camera person, like on camera uh, person who drives content and talks, uh, remains as a guest and, and they remain visible. So we're going to demonstrate it um, right now. Um, I'm going to be the invisible producer. I'm going to toggle myself out and Anastasia will give me some uh, some clues uh, of like what she wants me to do. And uh, I'll, I'll just do those for her. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, okay, Anya, please um, add a different uh, chat comment to our stream. Uh. Yay! <laughs> exactly. Very good. Uh, Anya, can you maybe, uh, I'm going to screen share uh, my screen uh, so that we can, uh, you can guys see I have on a different screen. Yay, on a different screen, I actually have uh, our web browser uh, option of a chat. Uh, it allows me to answer the chats while uh, me and Anya is on the show. Uh, okay, Anya, can uh, you spotlight both of us, me and chat? <laughs> Perfecto, perfecto, I see. So this is how the co-producer feature works. Uh, basically, Anya is the host of the show uh, and uh, Anya is in, she toggle herself off. She's in control of the chat. She's in control of overlays. She's in control of what's happening. She can set the back different background and uh, can start video or highlight different chats. And uh, while uh, I'm still concentrated on speaking to you and not losing the focus. <laughs> so it's pretty mm -hmm. amazing and awesome, uh, especially if you have multiple guests, it works the same way. Like I just shared my screen. So you just invite more guests. And at the same time that you have few guests on the stream, uh, other person who is a co-producer, they just manage the stream on the go. Awesome. Cool. Uh, anyone oh. have a questions about this? I see a lot of questions coming in from all kinds of people. So there is this mobile question coming in again. The Invasion Link works on mobile. Yes, it will. Uh, for the best experience, we recommend using computers and laptops just because they just technically have more power uh, to power your live streams. But yes, your guests can join from mobile and um, 
like like we mentioned earlier, we did have a couple of those experiences on the show, um, especially if the person is on stable Wi-Fi with his or her mobile. Uh, that's probably going to work even better for you. Um, in general, there is very little room in the world of live streaming for bad connection. So this is going to be oh, a yes. good tool. So as, as long as you make sure that your internet is is stable and good, uh, the mobile experience for guests will, will be available and possible. All right. Actually, also a quick hack. When you join the Restream Studio, on the right corner of your studio, you can see the uh, internet connection bar. Uh, if it drops to yellow, <laughs> you're in trouble. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, that definitely happened to me when the internet suddenly completely dropped off because Wi-Fi is not a, as you know, Wi-Fi is not a stable connection. It always changes. And at one point, it just dropped off and I was lost of words. So just keep an eye that it's always green. Um, and I think I saw the chat from uh, Morning Chalk Up. Uh, they, they were asking about uh, can they stream live okay can they stream live and record without going live into any of the platforms i think this is one of the life hacks we wanted to showcase as well do you want to talk about it quickly yeah Thank yeah you. absolutely yeah awesome question um yeah our chat is so busy like we have so much going on there that that um we are definitely I'm struggling to find that comment, but anyway, this is uh, this is something that I definitely wanted to show to you as well. Um, so I'll go ahead and share my screen again, just so you see how that looks from uh, the perspective of Studio, right? So right here, remember where we kind of where we left off was um, was the I, setup section. I know you're not sharing the screen yet. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> just by it. Oh no! Let me let me do it. Sharing screen. The beauty of live, right? It's just yeah. Now we're sharing. No, no, no. Now you guys see me. Awesome, perfect. So coming back right where we left off um, on the setup section right here, you can see that you can toggle and untoggle the channels that you want to go live on, right? Um. So let's say um. So typically you will have a couple of them on, uh, depending on what you're streaming. If you untoggle all of those channels you can actually still press this go live button. And in that case, uh, the studio will work as a, as a video recording tool. So whatever you do yourself with your guests during the interview, all your captions and overlays, everything is going to be recorded. And then once you are done, um, you can just click finish and then you will uh, go to your recordings and you will be able to access uh, that video and you can watch it, you can uh, download it, uh, or you can download out audio only if you are trying to repurpose them for podcasts. So basically, you can use the studio as um, as a video uh, recording solution. So this is um, this is pretty, pretty interesting as well. Um, and I saw some question at some point uh, that people were, were mentioning like about um, the, the audio being a little bit out of sync for me. This is because we're experimenting with a new setup for me. I actually, uh, I'm trying out the cam link by Elgato so I could use my DSLR camera in the studio. So um, that the minor, minor un unsync that, that we're experiencing is because of that. So we're kind of like experimenting and trying to find a good solution for that. But it's really cool to see how that, that the DSLR camera works. As you can see, my picture is pretty clear. Um, so for those of you who is trying to elevate the quality of your video and trying professional cameras, uh, this is something that we are, we're kind of playing around right now with Camlink by Elgato. This is how it's going to look. Um, all right. Uh, let's just, uh, I'm just going to take a couple of questions that, that I'm seeing right now. How many persons can I send an invite link to? You can send it to however many you want. Uh, you will only be able to, in, to have 10 people on screen at the same time, including yourself, but you can invite people. Um, and if you, ha if you have a, a show when you basically toggle some people in, like invite them into the show and then some people leave and other people come and join, you can have unlimited number of people as long as it's only 10 at the same time on your screen so you can send it to um to many all right uh let's see i also i, I don't know how to answer the all the incoming chats uh, so maybe we can just showcase all the latest questions uh and yeah. I would just quickly answer instead of me typing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah, absolutely. The, it's it's so good to see that that much engagement. That that means yeah. that the studio, the studio ones, uh, better. Let's see. 
All right. So there is another question from Josh, just literally the one that came came through right now. I thought third party cameras can be used already as long as the browser detects the camera. Yes, that's correct. But with DSLRs, um, you you have to have some uh, some kind of a way to make your laptop think that this is a web camera, right? So uh, what I'm using is Elgato CamLink, and there's some other ways and some other like, capture cards and some other solutions there. Uh, it will create this little bit of latency, um, but which is kind of barely noticeable. But it's it's going to be there but yeah you're, you're right this is not a new feature it's just new for me because I'm, I'm kind of testing it testing it out um all right um can here come um after work rebels hi guys um can you share can you share one more time on how to enable co-producer? Uh, yeah, so with co-producer, you basically untoggle yourself from the studio um, and, and that makes that person an invisible producer and they get to control the chats uh, and they get to control the graphics and the person on camera can just call, focus on content while the other person is writing everything else, such as feeding comments. As you can see, we're struggling right now because we're both kind of working on co on content and managing the thing. Um, so if, you, if your chat is as busy as ours, you might benefit from uh, having your host struggle themselves out and just like focus on the chats and feed you the comments while you are talking and answering and you don't worry about overlays you don't worry about layouts and all that good stuff all uh, right actually, we can do that as well uh, Anna do you want to pick up the questions and I will answer while you picking up the new ones <laughs> sounds <laughs> so we good sounds kind of good yes. our, our show ourselves as well Awesome. Let's do that. Uh, let me. Oh, there they are jumping, jumping around. Can, uh, I see. I said that can two people co-produce the show. So the usually the person who co-producer is the host. So I'm the as a host of the show. I'm creating the show. I'm creating the event, and I'm toggling myself off. And then I invite everybody as a guest. So. Uh, no, you can have only one co-producer <laughs> to answer the short. Uh, Aiden uh, Pillars, am I using Chromebook? Any suggestions? Well, uh, yeah, all of them. I actually used the Chromebook for a long time. Uh, our first three or four shows I was hosting on Chromebook. No problem. Just go live. Uh, it works the same way. Are recordings mm -hmm. available in the basic version restream or do you only get recordings for download? Uh, so uh, recordings are only available with our paid plans. Uh, and the way Anya, the way Anya mentioned it works, so we would re and also the length of the recording varies between uh, different um for different price channels. So if you standard or professional, we record six hours long video. So if you have seven different streams of one hour, we record all of them. But if you have one seven hour video long, we'll record only six, first six hours and the last uh, note. So, and this is how the uh, the pricing goes. So it's a six hour long videos for 15 days for professional and standard plan. And uh, it increases to 20 hours, I think with business plan. Um, that's a good one. The, I like this question. If the, if the co-producer internet drops, can the show continue? Oh, that's, that happened to me actually one time. <laughs> the show does continue, but for a, a short duration of time. We have like a one to five minutes. Uh, we give you five, one to five minutes to reconnect. Uh, so if your internet drops and then you can... I don't know if the signal picks up, you can reconnect again uh, and uh, join the restream account. And from there, you can connect to the um, to your show and continue the show. The guests will be there as well. Yeah, so the guests will remain. And also remember that this will remain the same event. So it's not going to start the same event. stream uh, when, if, if you disconnect for just a little bit. If you're off for more than five minutes, then it's probably going to end the stream because at that point, uh, we assume that that you are gone for good. Um, all right, this is a good one uh, about muting guests. Uh, yeah, so just toggle them off. <laughs> uh, so I think it's the same way as you would co-produce uh, with the co-producer works. Uh, if you, uh, as soon as you, uh, if you, by toggling them off, you completely take them out. Uh, but uh, muting the host, yes, I see, Anya, you want to correct me? Yeah, I was going to mute you, so uh, say something. Uh, you see, so you see, she, uh, Anastasia did mute herself, but I, as a host, do have the ability to just click the um, audio sound button and that will mute my guests. So yes, you can do that as well. 
Um, there was something else there. Uh, pick other audio sources. So as a, as a host, I can pick my audio sources, but I cannot pick audio sources for guests. The guests themselves will have to do that on their settings button. That is the same as mine uh, for the host. They will just have to do that um, themselves. Like You as a host cannot do that for them. All right. Um, this is a great one. Corey's asking, um, is there a video limit for, um, is there a file limit, a size limit for the video that you play from your computer? So this is a tricky one. I'm, I'm going to take is. it. <laughs> if you don't you mind. Go on. Go um, on so, I'll answer some chess then. <laughs> exactly. Um, so there, the official limit says it's 150 megabytes, but it really depends on your uh, computer and your machine, like how powerful it is. Uh, the video that I played earlier today, I'm going to tell you exactly how big it is, uh, if you bear with me for just a second. It was definitely a little bit more then um, how do I find this properties? Uh. So yeah, so basically you can uh, you can definitely test it and try. Uh, there is a certain limitation. You cannot play like a whole movie in full HD uh, using the local source file, but you definitely have a little bit more uh, than 150 megabytes. This is just something that we, uh, we say that this is the limit because we want to make sure that like, this is what we can guarantee 100% that will work. Um, but a lot of times people get larger files and they work just fine. Um, this is a good one. Can recordings be scheduled? So this is, I think, a scheduler question. Uh, this is not quite related to the studio space, but you can definitely, um, you can schedule pre-recorded videos and push them live. Um, Anastasia, if you want to uh, to share a little bit of, of that, how that works, that would be awesome. Yeah, I, I, to be honest with you, scheduler is my favorite tool. Uh, I totally love the ability to control what's happening in my feed. Uh, because as you can see now, we are doing the session live. So, uh, anything can happen. Uh, my cat can go into the room and start milking <laughs> and I won't be able to stop him. But, uh, if I do this pre-recorded, then of course, uh, and I push it live, of course, then I know there's going to be no cat in the video, okay? And uh, yes, you can, the, at the moment what happens, uh, you can send, you can start your stream uh, live without going to any specific channel. So just toggle off all your channels, go live, and then uh, you can schedule that as a pre-recorded video on the schedule. At the moment, unfortunately, you have to download recording and then upload it again to schedule. I know this sounds like crazy, whoa. <laughs> and trust mm -hmm. me, this is something that we're working on right now as we speak and it's gonna be launched very soon. But at the moment you need to download recording and uh, push it live through scheduler because at the moment it's still two different uh, products, but we're uh, working on merging them. Awesome, there is a great question. Oh, I think I accidentally press the other one. Um, can we have the full message um, highlighted on the screen just like we're highlighting it right now? Because right uh, at this moment, if the message is too long, it's gonna cut. Um, so Anastasia, do you, have, do you have an answer for that one? Because I know that was requested a couple of times before by, by our users. Yeah, I know this is something uh, in pipeline as well. Uh, I don't think it's coming really soon because at the moment we're working on scheduler, uh, but uh, it's something in the pipeline as well. So the ability to see the full chat uh, and also change the colors of the chat, maybe. Uh, so stay tuned. I think this is actually the best thing I love about our product is that uh, like every second week, it's so new, it's amazing. And our developers today even joined the stream as well. Uh, if you guys are here, hello. <laughs> uh, so we we do want to hear your feedback and we take it seriously and we do develop new feature based on this. Awesome, yeah. Um, this is a good one. I, can I personalize captions uh, uploading my own designs? Uh, this is a really good question and we do have quite a bit of requests for that. So you want to make your uh, custom fonts, you want to make your custom colors, so captions and backgrounds. Uh, we are aware of this request and we are working on it because I think this is a great feature to have. Um, so hang on tight, this is coming, not yet as of today. Uh, so today you cannot do it, you just have to use the standard ones, but we are working on bringing that to you. Because that's it's a great point, thanks for, thanks for bringing it up. Um, there is one more from Julian for about animated captions, um, future product. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Yep, yep. Uh, so there were a couple of questions about Instagram, and um, mm -hmm. I saw that the community already answered that there is a third-party application called Yellow Duck uh, that allows people to uh, to stream on Instagram. So um, and there are some concerns that you might get shut down by Instagram. Uh, so the answer to that that we have, so of course we understand that Instagram doesn't really want you to multi-stream to it. So that's how how their system is designed. They want you to only go live from your phone. Uh, that's why they don't welcome multi-streaming. Uh, Apps like Yellow Duck is a workaround, so you just need to be aware of that. And it's also an RTMP workaround, so it's just going to be a one-way street of sending your video there. The comments won't be coming back to you. And for studio space, it's probably not going to be the ideal experience to go um, to go on Instagram. Uh, I don't believe that you can integrate um, that via Yellow Duck uh, from the studio space. Uh, but we've never had any reports of people being shut down or policed by Instagram. So it's one of those swim at your own risk type things. Uh, since it's a third party application, it's not, you know, restream part. Um, but uh, we, we know that people have done that in the past and that worked out for them. So just kind of like use your own caution and um, Best judgment. Another wonderful feature request from Carlos here. Um, are you bringing folders to the studio? Yes, we are thinking about that because there's a lot of requests for that because um, a lot of people are writing like multiple different shows and they want to organize their graphics, their captions, their, um, their overlays uh, in those specific folders. We are looking into bringing that in as well. This is, this is, a, great, um, this is a great point. There's one on green, green screen, screen too. Yes, yeah. I also saw it a couple of times. The green screen is definitely coming as well. Uh, so uh, for sure, stay tuned. Uh, there are so many th new things that are coming, uh, which is pretty is pretty insane. The pipeline is pretty insane. So uh, and we are developing it quickly. So stay tuned. To, uh, hopefully, next show we will gonna host. We will already will show you all these new features with the green screen and uh, folders and uh, new chat uh, new chat features. Yeah, and I see people are mentioning plus one to folders, and there is um, another plus one to folders, <laughs> and there is another plus one to green screen. To green screen. This is nice. awesome. Uh, I, so, yeah, this about, is a this is a cool question. Uh, thanks, Brian, for asking. Uh, this is the first time uh, we get that question. Uh, so our team is actually not that big. <laughs> we are 50 people, around 50 people across two different off head offices, one in Austin, one in Kiev in Ukraine. Development is happening in Ukraine. We have amazing crew of our developers, the super intelligence, super developed everything from scratch. Uh, so and we continue to grow. We continue to grow awesome. definitely. Awesome. There is um, there is another great question right here about um, transitions. Um, so like scene transitions, uh, I believe that's like adding more more layouts, right? Is that what you mean, uh, Mike? Feel free to elaborate on that a little bit. I just want to make sure that we're talking about the same thing. Um, because we are definitely improving the way how our layouts are going to look. So right now, as you can see, we have this layout of like kind of like a horizontal thing. Uh, we, we can get into a selfie mode with Anastasia. <laughs> and of course, um, yeah, that's, that's just beautiful thing and of course we can spotlight each other i mean i as a host can and we can even maximize so basically get rid of the other person uh while they can still hear and talk uh but we are definitely bringing more of those so if that's what you meant by like scene transitions um that would be uh that's that's something that we're definitely going to add more options and more different variations on uh but we don't have the scenes in in the obs sense of things when you basically like preset like all your overlays and layouts and everything in one um, in one scene, right? And then you just click on that, and then you start streaming with, within that space. So we don't have the, we don't have the, the scenes as as part of the experience in the studio, uh, but we're definitely bringing more options for you to to play with with the lay uh, with the layout. That is um, okay. There's another one from Joel. Any plans uh, for record a live stream and restream studio without going live? We just demoed that earlier. You can do that already. All you need to do is just untoggle all your channels. Don't create an event. Just go live, enter the studio, um, untoggle all your channels, click go live, then access your recordings, and then you will download the video without ever ever going live. And we demoed that earlier. Um, all right. Um, why can't I talk when I full screen uh, my share screen? You should be able to. Uh, let me let me see. Let's test it together, right? Because it should be it should be definitely an option. I am going to do this full screen maximize. Can you guys hear me, uh, Anastasia? Can you still hear? Yeah, me? you can definitely hear me. Yeah. So the reason you will not hear yourself is if you toggle yourself off. 
That's the only reason you would not hear it. And this is exactly how you can get into this co-producer feature. So if you toggle yourself off this blue bar, which Anya just showed. Uh, yeah, you, let me show you one more time. Uh, wait, wait. Yeah. yeah, so this is what we so, refer to as toggle yourself off. Yeah, so like if you toggle yourself off, that's it. We cannot hear Anya anymore. Now she's a co-producer yeah. and I'm a host. <laughs> <laughs> so she can do whatever she wants to now in the show and I'm just uh, speak. Uh, so uh, yeah, just don't toggle yourself off. Yeah, and you had a second sense of like how quickly our chat is running when I shared my screen. You could see like how many comments are coming in. So, um, so that that's uh, so bear with us. We really appreciate your patience. I know there are so many questions that you guys want to answer, and we want to answer them all. So we'll we'll do our best, but we'll definitely do this again. Um, and you know, let let everyone have have a moment. Um, just like this one with Julian, plans for mirror camera option. That is another great feature. Um, that uh, that we have requests for um it's not in like in progress in production right now but um i definitely i w w we're going to add that um as well and remind our developers uh, about it so right now remember that your um your um video is already mirrored so if the idea like if what you're trying to do is to show um something uh, and i'm trying to figure out if i can show like you probably see my uh bag with restream so you see it's not like mirrored so you can read the thing so if the idea of mirroring for you comes from the desire to like show something like a book or something like written uh, and you want it to be uh, readable, uh, that is already something that's available right now. So you can already do that. But if you want to mirror it backwards, like that, that function is not that uh, there yet. Um, but yeah, it's a great idea. I think, I think it's definitely something to, to look into. Um, I have alpha lower third graphics on this. Can I have um, alpha lower I guess that's third, right? Uh, graphics on uh, live stream. So um, if you're designing an overlay uh, for, for the studio, you can design your graphics however you want. You can put them in any sections, in any areas, and then you will be just using an overlay uh, to, to put it in any section. For example, I'm just going to show you real quick here. Like This is an overlay that we designed, and the chat is kind of covering it. Um, let me... Let me take care of that real quick here. So you see this overlay is designed specifically to cover like the specific sections of the stream. And we also have a little logo on the on top. So you can use overlay in order to um, to get the um, the pieces of graphic wherever you want them to be, so to say. Okay, I hope, hope that makes sense. And let me get rid of this overlay because it, it's going to mess with our chat. All right. Um, this is another good one. Carlos from YouTube is asking, can you add multiple cameras from the same presenter? Anastasia, do you want to take this one? No, not really. <laughs> so, uh, at the moment, unfortunately, we don't support that option. It is in the pipeline for sure. I heard it. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, the, the, the moment, the way I would recommend to do it, you can add those as a guest maybe so for example if you have uh if you stream from your computer and then you also stream from your camera uh, your phone camera you add your uh, phone as a guest to your stream and then this way you can have a multi-camera setup uh, so that's why we it's not maybe necessarily coming really soon, <laughs> but uh, it's coming. Uh, we definitely, we heard about multi-camera for sure many times, and uh, we are aware that you want to highlight some of the like use it. So it's in pipeline. Uh, there is a question from Josh about overlay templates. Um, so this is uh, this is a good one. So we are we recently added background like they're not templates, so to say. They're just kind of like. Um, a library, so to say, right, of uh, backgrounds that we offer. Uh, we also have a little library of videos. And the next one that's coming very soon is the library of overlays. They're not going to be customizable. They're just going to be something that we offer to kind of like make your streams a little bit more uh, more fun and co colorful. But we are thinking in the direction of how to offer you easy kind of like foolproof uh, design tools that are integrated or very nicely aligned with the studio. So I, I really appreciate the, uh, you, Josh, asking that because this is something that I am championing big time within the team. Let's give people tools on um, how to design their graphics very easily within studio space. And we might have some announcements soon. We're not sure yet how exactly we're going to approach it. If we're going to partner with some company, 
um, on some kind of an integration or we're going to develop something of our own. But this is definitely big time on our radar. And I am the one who is looking forward to that because I do believe that there, it's very important to give you the opportunity um, to design things. So, and make it easy, right? Because if you're, if you're like me, um, I'm not a very talented designer. So I definitely could use help of, of over, overlays and kind of like pre preset templates. Um, all right. So let's see what else. Um, Dennis here from Facebook is asking, hello from Ecuador. Hello. What software are you using? Vmix OBS Wirecast. So we are using Restream Studio actually, and we are integrated with a lot of those that you mentioned. You can actually use Restream with OBS to multi-stream as well as with Wirecast and Vmix. But this is the studio uh, that is our own encoder uh, and that makes it as easy as uh go live uh, is as easy as basically doing like a little zoom call so that's that's the point of that the entry level is very low like if you don't have to be a professional producer or professional editor to start streaming you just have to have a good message and the community uh that's ready to hear it all right um what else virtual background that's uh oops sorry like while I was clicking, it was already <laughs> taken to the next level. Virtual background um, is is a question from uh, Financial Literacy 101. Anastasia, what do you think um, about that? Um, so I think virtual backgrounds, I think we already have a background. Uh, is, if I understand correctly the question. So for example, you can see on the stream, you can see me and Anya and the background, you can see a live demo. That's a background that we developed and implemented uh, in our studio. But actually we developed, we just launched such a cool new backgrounds. Anna, do you want to show a few of them? Uh, yeah, I, I love, but I think what fine, uh, what uh, this question is about is a virtual background, like think of Zoom, right? Like when you have like palm trees behind oh, you or I like see. spades. So it is almost a green screen question, um, borderline, but without actually having to have a green screen. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we don't have it in our pipeline just yet. Mm -hmm. um, the main reason for that is because virtual backgrounds a little downgrade the quality of your video quite a bit. If you look at those Zoom videos with those virtual backgrounds, you will see like those lines are not, you know, ideal. And it kind of like gets the, the video quality um, a little bit down. Uh, but this is something that um, if, you know, if, if you really think that this is a great idea, please let us know. Um, you can reach out to our support and, you know, submit those suggestions. I will definitely make a note of that, that this is something that people are looking for. Uh, but yeah, it is, um, it is a good question. Definitely. All right. So let's see again, green screen. We have a lot of green screens. Um, uh, I saw, uh, Moho Mike, uh, asking, can you add custom RTMP uh, uh, input? Uh, I suppose that's studio. question in, yeah. in the studio. Um, so I guess the, do I understand correctly? Customer RTMP inputs means the, is it for audio or video inputs I, or is it mean for the channels different channels for channels yeah this is uh, channels, so the okay. question is if you can stream from studio to customer team piece being uh the destinations that are not integrated with restream like like those gotcha. custom destinations and the answer is yes you can you can yes. uh you'll just need to add those channels uh get the stream key from that platform where you're trying to go to with customer team p uh and then toggle it in when you go live or toggle it in when you schedule your event so yes you can go to custom destinations from studio exactly the way i look at it is uh, actually you can go live anywhere as long as you can get a stream key <laughs> mm -hmm. you can also go live onto your website uh you would just need a user embedded player or uh, our widget for example to embed the stream into your uh, into your feed Yep. Yeah, so it's uh, pretty much everywhere. It's, uh, also, if you want to go, for example, like uh, I saw some question was asking regarding the uh, radio or audio stream only. That's also possible. Um, you just need to have a stable static e e uh, image, uh, anything really, any background, anything. And then you just host the show as is in audio. Um, you just need to have uh, uh, some background filler uh, or image. Yeah static image and this is another hack that i was kind of expl exploring and experimenting with um some people were asking about uh can i play music only like just basically have an audio like a background music for my stream and one of the hacks that i came up with and i'm not sure if it's gonna work great i just basically barely played with it but you could create you could record a video uh with your music uh the video could be static like just kind of a neutral background then you can use the local source toggle that video in 
uh, make it play, but maximize yourself. So it's, go- it's basically going to be hidden, right? But the music is going to play. And since uh, with local source file, you can talk over it, it's going to create that, you know, music, uh, mu- music on the background experience. One thing you need to be aware of is that you'll have to make sure that the sound level is is good for so, so it's not overpowering your voice. So that might be a little bit of a tricky thing to play with. Uh, but that's just something that I, I recently was exploring and and just checking it out. Um, but there are definitely requests about adding audio files only, um, just like we are adding videos. So we're definitely looking into that as well. That's, that's a great idea, good suggestion. How about automatically toggling between uh, who is speaking? Is that coming? So when you say toggling between, uh, I th- I and correct me if I'm uh, wrong here, Anthony, I think you mean, uh, can you like swap the people um, like the, the video boxes uh, between each other. So, so for example, Anastasia gets on my side and I get on her side. If that's what you mean, this is something that we're definitely looking into. It's not ready yet. It's not available, but uh, it's, it's a good suggestion. It's a great feature. If it, if it was something else, please let us know. Um, all right. I also uh, saw a question from Dennis in Facebook. Do you have any problems uh, with something software uh, with something software at the same time? For example, when I use Vimex or OBS with Zoom or at the same time to capture uh, multi views, my CPU works so slow. So the idea is that the more links you use <laughs> to stream the more it takes of your CPU, the more it takes it of your bandwidth. So the less links you use, the better. So even for example, when you stream with Zoom, uh, we would recommend switching to Restream Studio and guests uh, if you have up to 10 guests. Obviously, if you have more, then Zoom is your solution. Uh, but if you're up to 10 guests, uh, just go right away to Restream. We will record your video. We will practically do the same we will do the same thing and that the, the higher chances of video quality being better because you just need a less bandwidth to go live awesome and less to be you as well yeah and i'm yeah. seeing a couple of cool comments about music as well you can add music to uh restream using loopback i do it all the time um awesome i want to i want to check it out you you probably will need to show me how to do that <laughs> carlos i'm really <laughs> uh that, that sounds really cool there is an event question because i'm surprised no one is asking about events but since uh you know finally we got one uh why when we schedule the event it can only be eight days in advance um anastasia do you want to take this one or do you want me to yeah yeah cover? yeah so i i actually it's true and not that many people know that we recently launched restream events uh basically what does it do it allows you automatically create event to uh facebook and youtube uh and they will sh- you will be able to share the link with your uh audience in advance uh and like what we did for example with the invites we shared the link in advance and it's automatically done for facebook and youtube as well as other channels but um uh, Facebook and YouTube gives you these links. Uh, so answering your question about the event duration, the reason we set it for eight days is because uh, at the moment we only do two platforms, but the hope is that we will start increasing number of platforms where you can schedule event and the different platforms take a different, um, have a different specifications on how pre-advanced your event can be scheduled. And I think seven, eight days is just the, the minimum uh, or the for one of the platforms is a maximum, so that's why we ended up uh, using a seven, eight days, seven or eight days um, uh, to schedule in advance. Yeah, awesome. Um, this is a good one here from Damien. Um, can I mix live stream with pre-recorded stream and manage it manually? For example, one hour of live and two hours of pre-recorded. Um, this is uh, this is a pretty complex uh, setup you have there <laughs> when you uh, if, if you want to do it that way. Um, so if you want it to be an one uninterrupted stream, um, it is not going to be doable through studio for sure. Like within studio space, you have like this short files uh, that you can play as video sources. And then primarily it's designed for you to be live. We have a scheduler that is designed to push pre-recorded videos live. Um, I guess you could potentially you know, like go live for an hour and then schedule something for the next hour and then come back live. But uh, it won't be one single stream. And correct me if I'm wrong, Anastasia or our awesome support team in the chat. Uh, but I believe that this is how yeah. it's going to work, right? So basically how this is will work, you need to pre-record, you, you need to obviously have a video that you want to stream pre-recorded. First, you need to push it through Handbrake 
And this is the thing that will allow you to shrink the file to make it suitable for streaming, for live streaming, and set the correct settings for the platforms. Uh, second, you I if you do this, I would first suggest you to send pre-recorded video. So first send it through scheduler. As soon as the video on scheduler ends, you can go back to studio and start streaming, live stream. There's no problem. Uh, though if you want to, so if you want to schedule a pre-recorded video after your live stream, right after your live stream, uh, we would require 10 minute delay between your live stream and pre-recorded uh, pre-recorded version. So it's just that 10 minutes will has to be a pause. <laughs> uh, but other than that, uh, yes, it's possible. We we have seen that for sure, for especially for conferences. Awesome. Um, so there is Jay um, is asking, uh, it's kind of like a long question, so I'll read it out. Um, that's that's what we were talking about, right? Like the question being cut. Um, yes. Definitely. Room, room for improvement right here. Um, <laughs> so the question is, uh, when I use my Yeti Nano mic instead of laptop or default mic, I get an echo. Is it because I need to use headset instead of the default speakers? Um, so... Uh, if you don't have a headset like headphones, the chances that you will have echo are significantly higher. So this is one of the things that I definitely recommend to consider. Always have a headset, always have headphones and, and um, your microphone uh, ready when you're live streaming and recommend that to your guests. Like when I invite guests to my show, in my checklist, one of the three things I ask people to do is join from the laptop uh, versus versus the phone because the experience is just going to be better. Make sure that you have good and stable internet connection. Make sure you have a headset because it's going to help me to ensure that you won't have any echo at all. Um, so, But it's not because you're choosing default versus a specific microphone. Um, it's, it's, it's just something to do with your setup and... Um, you know, and, and, and like how, how things, how things, things work for you. If you want to get rid of the echo, just have a headset. Also try a different mic or try a different headset because, um, unfortunately there's so many, not unfortunately, unfortunately there's so many microphones and so, so many hardware. It's kind of hard to know if there's a specific to microphone or, uh, or a headset, or is it something that studio does? So I would uh, definitely recommend to test it with a different, uh, with a different setup. Awesome. Yeah. And there are a lot of questions about sound quality, like how do I improve? How do I make it better? Um, so I am personally using the AKG P220 microphone. Uh, I am very happy with the quality of sound that I have on my shows. And I, I don't know if you guys can hear me well. Um, I, I hope you, I hope you're finding it pre pretty good sound. And I also use um, one of those uh, little kind of like Oh, I don't know how it's called, but <laughs> I have a controller like when I can control the volume and of the sound and I can also connect my headphones um, in, into um, a separate uh, sound audio deck. So that really changed my game in terms of uh, getting rid of any echoes or any interferences uh, that I experienced in the past. So definitely invest in a good microphone. Consider a deck for it as well um, uh, that, that controls your sound. Uh, if, you're really, if you're really going after like perfect crisp sound, definitely test out a couple of things. And I believe we have a blog post about uh, different like gear recommendations that we have so we'll definitely be happy to point you out into um, yeah. in the direction of that one so you can have a look at specific brands that we recommend it's my first time using headphones so I'll have to check the sound uh, afterwards uh, but I, I struggled with the sound for a long time uh, and uh, because I used the default uh, default my built-in microphone in the computer uh, also actually one time I used a professional mic but it didn't connect <laughs> so I didn't realize it didn't connect until after the stream so it's possible just check it up check it out so that when you go live that you actually picking up the source as a audio source as a the right microphone yeah so rodolfo here is asking um saying it would be great if guests could see the chat too they do they do i um, do i actually do as well i yeah. this is how i i even can answer your chats so this is the person who was answering most of your chats was me <laughs> and then some few, few guys from from the team as well uh so yeah it's possible. Yeah, yeah. So the only reason uh, I think maybe the confusion was because Anastasia showed that she has like a, a separate web application open uh, with the chat. The only reason why she has it is because she wants to type and respond in it. Uh, if you if you just want your guests to see the questions without the ability to, of typing them, they can already do that in the studio. They don't have to have anything separate um, open for that purpose. So just just to make sure, um, just to make sure that's Anya, clear. I think it's a, Anya, I think it's it's a time, time for discount. 
it's, it's time, time to wrap discount. up i agree yeah there's so many discount, questions uh, uh, guys we uh, thank you for staying with us so long we prepared a special treat for you uh, for everybody who wants to try these additional features in the restream please use the discount yay yay awesome <laughs> uh, it, it, it would allow if you're first time purchasing or you want to upgrade to a different plan it would work uh, if you want to try new features uh, if you want to try features in the paid plan the recordings co-hosting everything uh, just feel free to use the discount and uh, start uh, your subscription and starting your professional streaming uh, from today um, yeah uh, unfortunately if you have already uh, already purchased uh, subscription it wouldn't work but for everybody new it, it does <laughs> Yep. Yep. Um, and I just added the link to the chat. So if you want to just click that link, it's going to automatically take you to the pricing page with this promo code already applied. Um, it's both on Facebook and YouTube. Feel free to click it. Um, and I'm going to share it one more time in the comment section, because I know once we wrap this up, the, the chat will be gone from YouTube. Uh, we really appreciate you hanging out, uh, hanging out with us for so long. Yeah, it has definitely been an hour and there's so many questions that we haven't covered. So I think we should do it again. Um, just specific studio focused stream. Um, uh, focused on 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 the studio and on the questions that people have. Any other any kind of uh, the last comments, guys? Uh, anything that we still need to work on or prioritize, or uh, we we should be looking at the first, or maybe do demo first, or do uh, some product development first. Uh, please uh, let us know so that we start um, we start putting attention uh, into things that you need uh, more. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And feel free to come uh, and comment to this video, even even if you're watching the replay. Um, leave us a comment about the feature that you're really looking forward to, something that will really help you out or something that you really like or something that maybe we should improve. Um, we're super open to your feedback uh, because, um, as Anastasia said, we're still kind of a small team, but very dynamically evolving product. Uh, we are trying our best to bring the best experience to you. And we, we could not do that without your help, without your feedback and without your suggestions. So we greatly appreciate uh, your time and effort and the fact that you care and the fact that you're creator. Well, this is just amazing. Yeah, no, it's amazing. And it was so nice to see so many comments. Uh, I forgot how uh, cool it is uh, when there's so many comments. It's just uh, it becomes so live, uh, a really live show. Uh, also, guys, we host the shows uh, every week. We have the different type of shows coming every week. Uh, actually, a few times a week. Actually, even a few times a day. Times a day <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Uh, today is going to be at 12 p.m. In a few hours, it's going to be one more show. Uh, and Anya probably is the best one to let you know what are the shows. So we have a lot of shows like um, how to attract more viewers to your show, how to start got a confidence on streaming, maybe different, like, a, for example, how to use Restream for church and uh, product managers uh, and the other and the different industries. Actually, actually, now when you mentioned the Restream for church, this is one show that we don't have yet, but I'm actually... Um also overseeing the content that goes on our channel. So if you host um, a church-related or worship uh, faith-based organization-related live content and you're interested in uh, collaborating with us on the show that is specifically targeted towards um, towards churches and faith-based organizations, drop me a line. I would love to talk to you and see maybe we could we could collaborate on a show together. But the shows that we have already right now uh, is the confident, like Go Life is Restream. It's about confidence. It's about growing your audience. It's about keeping them engaged. Uh, we have another show uh, behind the stream uh, where uh, Dylan is, Dylan Hayes is explaining how you could run live streams for B2B and SaaS companies and what is behind that in terms of tech and in terms of marketing. Uh, pretty good show every Thursday. He's off for this two weeks, so he's coming back in November. Uh, we are starting two new shows this uh, this actually week. Uh, one is going to be uh, live stream stories. Uh, we are having uh, a producer, a former National Geographic's producer, who is going to talk about how to build your storytelling uh, skills uh, in the context of live video. And next week, we're starting a remote producer live show where Kimberly, who is the, the author and the creator of the brand Remote Producer Live, is going to tell you how you could learn how to run live streams just like we're doing right now and offer those services to others. So basically become a producer for hire just because you are 
knowledgeable and capable about streaming software such as Restream. Um, so that's a pretty cool. Uh, that's a pretty cool one. And there are Friday lives every Friday. I interview content creators, so feel free to stop by, hang in, and uh, hang out with us, and say hello. And yeah, so this is yeah. And uh, every Friday or by Friday, or sorry, every Wednesday or by Wednesday, we're running uh, shows with the uh, Restream stuff. So. So Q &A's, yeah. support, a, a different type of Q&As that specifically on the Restream account and specifically about Restream setup. So yes, definitely check it out. Uh, uh, we usually send the emails on Mondays, on Mondays. with all the shows. Uh, yeah. Awesome. All right. I think it's time for high five uh, that we usually fail at but today we prepared a little bit before going live and let's go ahead and right. do that Anastasia are you ready one two and two. three boom you want to do another one, <laughs> one yeah two and three <laughs> yeah <laughs> slow it and smooth yeah slow and smooth didn't work out thank it you happened. so very much guys for your time for your comments for your uh for your uh kind words a lot of people said thank you you guys have a great product we really appreciate it that, that's really great to hear we appreciate all your um, all your suggestions. We are going to review your comments and uh, going to feed them directly to our product and development team so they can review those. Uh, this, these are super important and essential for us. So thank you so very much. And we will be back soon. We will do another one for the studio for sure, since there's so much to cover and so much to unpack. Uh, and other than that, we wish you a happy Thursday, Friday's Eve, uh, wherever in the world you are. Thank you. And we love you. Thank you. Oh, this is a new thing we should do in the show as well. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. This, 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 just okay. natural from today. <laughs> Thank you, guys. See you, guys. Uh, see Bye. you guys next Wednesday. Bye.